it's going to be exciting to watch this matchup coming up first. Of course, it's Talon up against Geek Fam. Geek, Geek Fam, though, they want to play with this track here. Yeah, they're going to find Joey Cam. Keep the vision up. Crack is out. Shuriken toss with the Ignite slow, and now the magic missile to fly out. So Joe Cam certainly going to go down as they'll turn off Twen now. Twen going to go for the big Sonic wave out onto two. Max still dropping rather low on the Bounty Hunter. We'll try to juke around the tree line, but it does eventually go down. Gets the tracks off before he goes, though, so they'll keep trying to find some more kills, but it's only two supports left over. They'll find the Yench, but they're going to lose the Ogre. There's now Jing. He does have help from Natsumi and Chuen. He's going to try and get out of there. Looks like he will be okay in the end, though. They are in position to try to force a fight out. Mac is coming in here. These are all track kills if they can get him. On you. He targeted. Mac does not need too much help. The spear coming in for the backside. Not going to land, but they will secure the track kill. Level 6 up on Jing. Swap ready to go for some pullbacks as well. Chewin, not too safe here. Smart Fox. He's going to land a spear. Oh, that's Ooh. a great arena! Oh, that's right on the edge from Cox. What you love to see in Talon. They're still going to try and move north to oh, Natsumi. Natsumi, he's trapped between a rock and a hard place, and he is just as good as death. And the Luna just standing no chance when they pincer him in like that. And now with that initial death going, the d wards start coming out here from Talon in their own, in their own jungle. And they try for Joe Camp at the least. Joe Camp, he'll get swapped in, so a nice track kill, but now Talon looking to try and capitalize and punish the side of Geek Fam. We'll get one stun off the Yoga, so Skip's gonna be targeted by Akashi, but a nice spear and arena out from Cox gonna lock down the ball wing. In comes Chuen, but he's gone a bit too far, I think it's a Sonic Wave. It only lands on Mac. Mac is perfectly fine. He'll keep walking away, that the chase is on, they'll eventually perhaps find the bounty. And they will. So it's not the worst trade in the world for either side. And sacrifices that potential ogre kill, which isn't a higher priority target. That does lead to them getting that chase down on the Mac. To it. Oh, they've got the Imaz, but no, in fact it was, yeah, it was Cox that was caught out. Cox gonna keep going for the run. He's just so slow with all this Mars. Eventually Twin gonna land another Shadow Strike to secure the kill here with Ponyo. Skem's gonna go ahead and scout this one out for his team. There is vision here. From the side of Talon to get this information over. Nothing's there, they're going to try and escape. Escape on the Yoga, dropping very, very low, but a nice arena is down, locking them all in as they do take down the Yoga once, but the Eclipse is coming right through from Natsumi. They've got Ponyo down, and there's WS to follow. Joe Cam also trying to run, but is going to drop as the third. Talon, uh, they'll get the Ogre, but it just took them so much to kill off Scam and they lose three for that. And yeah, they've, they've got the setup to kind of shove in bot. Maybe you consider a hope for the fight round. They are dragging around here. Yeah, they're going to try for Mac. Mac does have help on the way, but they will at least find the bounty first. As now Chuen needs to run. Chase was on. He'll be able to blink away. They want to try and defend and push this out. They'll move in. Joe Cam starting with the Skem. Skem will be okay to back off with the rest of his team. And it seems as though Geek Bam, they have lost the T3 tower. They will be around to defend the rats, but Talon are the ones that came out on top of that exchange. Still hanging on Natsumi for a little bit longer, a little bit more pressure onto that high ground. Trying to chip away at Natsumi, who is pressuring that team three tower. Top lane, seems like Ponyo has been scouted out here by Mac and Cox, so Ponyo's been chased down here on the edge and he is gone. <laughs> it's already one down for the side of Talon. Geek Fam are asking him for at this point. T3 tower in the mid lane is going to drop and Natsumi will get started on the mid rats. So confident. Stand his ground and just keep this up as WS is going to get swapped right in. And he is just as good as God. Twen trying to help out, but the Sonic Wave just does no damage. Jing, the only one to go down to the vent, as Talon are desperately still trying to defend this, but Natsumi is just slowly bouncing waves everywhere off this racks. They will find Skem, and it seems that that's going to be enough here for the side of Geek Fam to back their way out. That, that tends to make these really tough, and your BKB's down on Chuen as well. So you don't have that front line with the pop jumping in right now. Midrax still standing, however, but Natsumi is not looking to retreat. They will move in once again to try and claim this Rax as it is down now, but the jump is out from the side the of Talon trying for Natsumi, but the swap was there. No damage being done to the Luna, and now they'll look to just turn right back around. Natsumi, though, Maybe need to back his way out. He does get locked down by a nice bushwhack up to the hoodwink. Oh. And it seems though Natsumi is actually going to go down. So will Scam. And in fact, a Gleipnir catching out Cox. Another kill to come the way of Twen. Joe Cam, he'll get all the tips from his team. 
Talon certainly feeling like they might just be strong enough to force a 5v5 engagement now. Chuen comes in again onto Natsumi. They'll try for Cox as well. Cox dropping rather low. Is going to oh. barely survive. 30 HP he gets away on. The TPs are there. They'll lose Jing, but everyone else gets their way out. But Talon, they have first dips on secondary Roshan. There is going to be a BKB being built up on Natsumi, and it is on the Courier, and now it's available. Joe Camp, he's going to move in. He gets a bit of vision, but it may cost his own life, and Joe Camp will get bursted down. Akashi, he tries to move in to help out. He'll be just fine to survive through the initial onslaught as they're trying to swap away their carries here on the side of Geek Fab and just get them the hell out of there. Jing is going to sacrifice his life. Akashi, he's on a Natsumi, and Natsumi's down. Natsumi is down. Two have been lost. The Geek Fam and John, he just bought his BKB. He's got no buyback gold. And there's no strong defense to mount. They're going to try to hold off the creep wave oh. down bot, but they're rushing straight for the tier fours. They know that buyback isn't there. This, this is a classic SCA loss here, John. Tier four towers, they'll go. With that ancient black dragon form in the wall, it's very hard to defend Mac. against this. As Mac is just going to get deleted. He'll buy back immediately. They're just trying to buy enough time for their Luna to be back up. But the GG's cold. They call it. Natsumi has seen enough. It's not like he really has a choice anyway. The Ancient is now officially down before the game even ends. And Talon, my goodness, Jonathan. Can you imagine the chance that are going to happen here for Geek Fam if they actually made it to Birmingham? Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It's like a dream come true. In fact, I want them oh. to win now. I'm just going to go out right and Jing. say it. It's top lane. Jing is down. I don't care, Jonathan. Because Cox is alive. If they can carry through. Yeah, it's dropping, he's dropping rather low here on this Lunar. In fact, they're going to make the jump in on Jing. Or rather, Ponyo. Jing is the one jumping Ponyo here as they do take down the end. They do not have the Illuminate. Well, now they do. Never mind. Here we go again. Ponyo going to be targeted. But the Illuminate, it's off the mark. I do not believe it hit Ponyo. It may not matter anyway, but no, it does. He is able to walk out of there. It's now Joe Cam. We'll move in and take down Skem. Hawk's still trying to snipe. The Ench is not going to quite get there. Mid lane, speaking of being alone, Gwen will get jumped. Not just the initial avalanche damage. Still going to get trapped in the cogs, though. Gwen, not level 6, so should go down. They will continue to try and they will get him eventually. Where does the tower chip damage really come in from? Uh, no big sources, Jin. They're trying for the tiny, but Jin is well and truly safe. Skem's going to rotate on the end. Jing actually moved back in, so he is going to die. He will trade his life for Ponyo. Oh. In fact, a nice hook shot from Skem. Will land on Akashi. They'll get the solo bind out. Akashi, he does not have much gameplay here. Cox is right behind. And Skem going to lock him down another time, thanks to the Chakra Magic. So you give Jing away, but you find two for the for the trouble. And I love the words that Defam's just showing. See, spot you in. Yeah, he's been locked down again. Nice toss up here from Jing. He's still trying to get away. Oh, he just can't make it. All that is still a mile off. It's a lot of room for Geek Fam to just find these pushes as they will just blow up. Ashi. It's Skem and Cox. They just keep rotating onto the Luna. Just look at the damage that Cox is doing. Is Joe Cam just dead? The Spirit Vessel just ticking him out? Uh, he is. Yeah. Last tick of the Spirit Vessel takes him down. Meanwhile, mid lane, they might at least find Mac, but the rotations are incoming. Mac, he will have help on the way in just a moment. Here comes Natsumi. Chuen! Oh! Oh, oh boy, that's gonna hurt. That was just too much. Too much burst damage too quickly. But they certainly do. Hook shot oh. perfect from Scam. But a perfect angle right after the creep wave. Just even without the Keeper of the Light, Akashi, he's just nowhere near the level he needs to be at to survive these initial ganks. They've, they've just got to bleed out these supports. As long as it's not someone like Akashi oh, WS and Chuen dying. Oh, yeah, I mean, you just said it, John. Chuen's gonna get tossed back in a back. He has one remnant. We'll throw it out and does get oh. away as they do skewer back Jing and Jing. Jing is gonna die. What is this? What a lad, Jing. Oh, using it. Using it stealth. Oh. Oh. You do, John. Oh. WS. To find another scam. Get caught out here, though. He's a bit of a tanky target. Still not down. Will finally die. This Chuen is just dropping like a fly in Akashi. Akashi's not safe either. It's a three for one trade. Oh God. In the favor of Geek Fam, they only lose the clockwork. They've still got this Blink RP ready in WS. They just. Need to find an opportunity to use it. Even then, I just yeah. don't know if you have enough Avalanche, damage. Avalanche, toss, WS, he's the target, and just look at it blow up. 
Oh my oh, goodness! Man. Like, I, I get bored very fast. Twin might be getting rather bored. Up. He's been dying quite a lot. Top lane. He'll be oh. able to get away this time around, though. He does run it into Mac, but Mac was not paying attention. Look at his team. Mac, what are you doing? He ran it <laughs> to you, Mac. What are you doing? Max on. Max on. Max on. Definitely not Max in this game. All this At least not for that little play. Tashi. I'd say overall, he has been. Talon starts to have some sort of game oh, to play. Oh, Twen. Let's get caught. Avalanche tosses out. Chains are out from Natsumi, and Twen is just down. Lift will be forced. That might be enough for Geek Fam to just retreat, and it will be. You can, you've still got four minutes on the Aegis. You can always wait for another time, but no, never mind. They want to go now. RP was committed. They found one target, but Scam, he lands a four man hook shot. And that'll be Twen. Almost going down, barely able to remember it away. The rocket plane, not quite enough damage. He will be just fine. Akashi, in the meantime, slowly walking his way out. The chase is still on Akashi. He will also barely survive. But the Midrax is still being taken. Y you found Jinx, but that was about it. As Joe Cam almost getting zapped to death here by Mac on the Rubik. Natsumi, he'll get back onto that Midrax. Still has the Aegis up. Might just have to surrender that in mid, but they're still try. up around the area. They will try for the clockwork. Skem though, not dropping quite Ooh. yet, but the Eclipse does come through. Skem might go down, one life. does do him. They do even find the Aegis. The Morphling will die the first time. Natsumi. Not really looking like he's too afraid of losing the secondary life, but maybe if they can skewer him back, no. Manta will get just in time to break the skewer. RP is going to come off cooldown as well in a few seconds. Geek fam, without that secondary life and not soon, this is a risk they're taking. They found the mid Rubik, but the avalanche is there from Jing to ensure the follow-up is not out as Akashi now forced the BKB up, but he's just so darn low in terms of the HP pool. They'll lose the Magnus immediately. Natsumi's still on the chase for the Luna, and it seems as though Akashi, he's got no way out. They'll toss him right back in. Avalanche onto another. They're gonna find Joe Cam with the Hoodwink. Three down for the price of nothing. Geek fam, they will come back and secure that mid lane of barracks. It'll only be the two set of racks, so very similar to how game one went, with Geek Fam having this big advantage at the oh, its Akashi. Full potential. Akashi, he's got his team kind of nearby, but they might just burst him down before they even get there. Akashi's just gone. Nice mid air to Jing. Radiant are they force a fight? It seems like they'll try. Who do you target? Jing? Perhaps he's the target, but no, he'll get away into the try after Mac on the Rubik, but he's perfectly fine as well. Their RP does nothing. They are still trying. Mac might finally go down and does do so. That is one down for Talon, but they're going to lose Chuen. They're going to lose a couple more now as well because Jing sets up perfectly another time. WS trying desperately to find Skem. Skem will walk away out of this as now Akashi's the one to drop. Aww. No buyback available. Joe Camp to boot. Ponyo, he'll be the fourth one to go down. The only survival was WS and well, GG is called. GG is called Geek Fam. They will drag this out to a game number three. Game number three set to get underway very, very soon between Geek Fam and of course Talon Esports. The main scam is going to have to take the game, it looks like. Matsumi has backed his way out. In fact, never mind. They're going to go for the fight. Jing has rotated on the hoodwink, so Joe Cam is the one going down. Now with a double bushwhack coming out, Jing will hold down both heroes on the side of Talon so they can chase the war. They'll try after Ponyo, and poor old Ponyo, he'll go for a run, but it's going to be nothing. Two down. It might be a triple. WS sticking around for the healing lotus, but the bushwhack's going to fly through from Jing. Now the body block's coming out. WS still trying to run away. Oh Ooh. no. Skim had a mango ready. And that'll be WS to go down by the seams of it as the tips are coming out here for Jing. Who has been playing out of his mind his best of three. And that's all three heroes down at the bottom lane just dying here from Talon. The chase of the twin. Just trying to fight over this 8 minute power route timing. But in comes the bushwhack from Jing. Landing on two again. They're all over the MK. Chuen is just melting to the damage output. He, he, oh, Natsumi goes down though. That's a, it's not the worst trade in the world. They do at least get the Pos 1 Luna. Rather some skeletons only now, but they will force the defense out from Geek Fan. 
Ops, nice deny onto the tier 1 tower. Does get caught by a stun. Swap out as well. They really want that cooker before the enemy does come out and they've got it. Monks is gone. Natsumi also popped the Eclipse throughout all that. Really got no damage off with that Eclipse either. Intercept is here. Skem gonna meet WS. But a nice arena down immediately jumping on Jing. Problem is he doesn't really have the backup. They'll find Jing, but WS is gonna have to go down for that kill attempt. In fact, they'll even find Ponyo. To give themselves a higher chance in this team fight, but there's gonna be a counter smoke. Geek Bam wrapping around that radiant triangle. Have broken the smoke on Skem and WS. One of the Atos knock and lock WS down. He is able to blink away. Meanwhile, they're from the side. They have found themselves. Chuen on the MK. He is just going to get bursted down. Double boat out from Cox. Akashi. He's going to be dragged back with the X as well. The Eclipse is not exactly landing on the ball fleet, but it won't matter. They've got so much control. Akashi, he'll try to waveform towards the south and TP away, and he does Ooh, make it. Now. You don't necessarily want to try and jump the DK, but they may have no other options. Ponyo's going to rush in, he'll get the swap out. In fact, Mac is melting rather quickly, and he is just gone! And Ponyo will follow quite closely, he's now Akashi, just getting locked down by the Torrent Storm. Like it was the boat, rather, that was locking him down. He will be fine for now, it's a one-for-one -one trade in the favor of talent. Hold on to poker match right now, Scam. <laughs> Dyer, Rush in, does have the axe up now, but has only used the dragon form, so it's not quite the, uh, the max dragon. It's now gonna make the jump in onto WS, but he's okay with the BKB up. Do they want to keep going? The answer is no, they want to retreat here, Talon. They'll leave Ponyo behind. They'll also have to give up Joe Camp by the looks of it. Joe Camp will indeed be going down. Natsumi will reveal himself immediately. Jump in from Mac. Gonna right. find himself no targets yet. Still trying after Ponyo. Poor old Ponyo is gonna be scattered out eventually here on the bench. And will die. That is one down. Talon, no longer looking for the fight as they will also lose Joe Camp by the looks of it. Joe Camp actually being left alone to Mac for now as they are looking for more targets. He goes Natsumi. They're gonna fight Chuan. Chuan just melts and Akashi also caught out. Oh boy, four heroes down. He was hanging up by the gate area, still didn't want to go get scanned out now. That's a really good idea and should be able to find him. Oh yeah, Jinx this caution from town, I don't understand it. Jinx has been doing fantastic work again for his team, scouting out WS here down the bottom lane. Another BKB arena used here by WS just to retreat away from the hoodwink, but the chase is on, Jinx wants it. And Geek Fam just cleans up, Town aren't even putting a fight right now. Not the boundless, not to me the chance they have to take down this Luna. He's got no BKB available for another 15 seconds. Nope. And Natsumi's still completely surrounded. Surely they take him out. He's trying to heal up through it and almost makes it, but not quite. Natsumi is down. And it seems though Skem, who tried to save his ally, will also drop with it. Sometimes Geek Fam get a little bit slippery in late game scenarios. Give an opening. Shuan, Shuan. Speaking of openings here, Twen, no chance out of this one, he is down. Maybe they get away with Roshar, but the thing is, Geek Camp still want to go for the fight. Even without the Dragon Form, it is about to expire, but Roshar, they're going to jump in. Max is going to try for this one. Marina is down preemptively, but Roshan is still alive. Geek Camp, they might have a Akashi. chance in this one. Akashi's gone! Akashi's gone! They've taken Roshan on the side of Geek Camp! Ponyo, looking to drop. WS also being chased down by Cox. They'll lose the Venge. Joe Cam. He's just got nowhere to go. Huh? The TP. No, Bushwhack is there. And they just leave him. They found the mask instead. They literally just leave Joe Cam to walk and shame his way back to the fountain. They want the bars. Poor old WS. He'll just farm while he has a chance. Ah, this guy totally knows what he's doing. Look at that jump. still just voice lining them with your own voice line. It's like he knows. Yeah, of course. Go Cam. I mean, it's a good voice line. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to make that judgment, John. Joe Camp, he's under the edge. Poor old Joe Camp. Oh, he did it. it's such a slow process that I didn't even want to bother with him. Town, they haven't shown us the arena Wukongs at all. Like, we have just not seen that from mine, not soon. You're gonna try for Natsumi, but they just get annihilated by the eclipse of the Luna. And she just didn't know that. 
while the BKB is up, she's taking some zero damage. The arena is down for WS, will turn around, because they're from Geek Fest. They've got Akashi locked down another time. They will just focus down the Morphling. Akashi desperately trying to run away, but he is gone. He is gone. And so is Talon from this upper bracket, I think, because they do not have buyback on the... Oh, he does have it. It just come off. He just get the gold. It doesn't matter. He's back into the fight. Max back in again. On the end staker. No camp Scott. On the Chuen. They want the monkey king now, and Chuen is just being stun locked forever. And a double torrent to lock them down. Chuen is still gonna drop even the swap out from Ponyo. This is just this is almost certainly game over. Takashi 